everybody, it's Jimmy, Bill, and Andrew. We're trying something different today. <laughs> so today what we're talking about is Florida. Is Florida still worth living here? Or is it even worth moving here? I did a video of 15 things that I regret about you know, moving to Florida. Mm -hmm. I'll post it below, the link below, so you guys can check it out. But we want other people's opinions. So Andrew, he moved here about a year ago from California. So he's going to give some ideas of things that he doesn't like about Florida and things that change because he's owned the house here for a while. Bill was born here. So he's seen changes from day one, you know, from since he's been here. You've probably seen a lot of changes. Oh, yeah. Where we're sitting right here used to not exist at all. It was just a big Part of it was swamp, part of it was, uh, you know, woodland area and uh, cow pastures. So what we're gonna do is, yeah, we're going, we're gonna, I'm gonna ask some questions and then let's see what the answers are and you guys comment below because some people are saying, hey, should I move to Florida or should I not move to Florida? And at the end of this, at the end of this video, stay up to the end because I'm gonna tell you what state I'm thinking about moving to for retirement. I might not be staying in Florida after all. What? No, nope, I might be moving out of Florida, and I'm going to tell you guys the state that I'm curious about moving to and checking it out. In the meantime, do me a favor, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel, and it's greatly appreciated. All right, why don't you start us off, Andrew? What's the biggest thing you do not like about Florida? The humidity. <laughs> okay, that's like a common theme, right? I don't think anybody likes the humidity. <laughs> Even Floridians don't like the humidity. If you got I, rid of the humidity, this place is actually pretty good. So basically California didn't have a lot of humidity. No humidity, 20 to 40%. It's dry every day. Oof. So believe it or not, humidity is one of the biggest complaints about here. You see a lot of people that come here, and then what do they do? They're leaving because they just can't handle it. They can't it. handle the heat and the humidity. It's the humidity, not necessarily the heat. It you know, heats just, fine. Yeah. It's, it's the humidity. It just makes it hard to breathe and you're constantly sweating. So, so why does people, when it's 50, 60 degrees in New York or California, you know, f like people there are in shorts and a t-shirt, and over here when it's 50, 60 degrees, people are all bundled up like they're freezing. We got thin blood down here in Florida because <laughs> it's so hot. I mean, it, <laughs> in California too, when it gets into low, into the 50s, like you'll see people walking around in, you know, long sleeve, you know, sweatshirts. Uh, jeans, you know, they're not walking around in flip-flops and shorts all day long. But those are the native Californians, people who have been there, you know, a long, long time. You get someone who's been there three, five years, and yeah, they'll be in t-shirts and shorts and flip-flops, and they, they won't know the difference. And most of the, not most, but a lot of people from California are from the East Coast. So they're used to the cold already. All right, but let me ask you this question. Um, is, are you getting used to it after being here for a year? No, it's like, used to Florida, used to the humidity. Humidity, No, the heat. it's the worst. It's like, you don't even want to go out in the daytime. You, you know, you, you go to, you know, a Costco or a Walgreens or whatever, and you, from the parking lot to the front door of the place, when you hit that air conditioning, you don't even want to get, go back to your car just because it's so, literally, it's such a change of pace. So if you think about moving to Florida, Think about it. You're going to take a shower, go outside. You feel like you have to take another shower. But it's, it's be... only for what? Three months? Right. It's not right forever. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 three months out of the year, which is like our hottest and most humid. Once we start getting the winds to change and we start getting some, you know, that uh, wind out of the north, we start, we get rid of that tropical breeze, which we all love for the beach, but it's hot. So it's just like New York, you know, we lived in New York, like, December, January, February, what do you do? You stay inside because it's just dark, gloomy, and, and rainy, and rainy cold. And cold. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's the same yeah. thing. Bill, since you were born here, what is what is the biggest thing that you hate that changed about Florida? Is it like people moving in? What, what do you hate that you wish came back? It, probably more, I'm probably more of a purist just because I grew up here. I grew up on the coast. So I watched a lot of the small mom and pop shops, you know, along Indian Rocks Beach, all the way down to St. Pete Beach, things like that. Sure. You know, I saw those slowly disappearing, so even on Clearwater Beach, you know, we started, that's, it started to go away and then it became the franchises in these large apartments and these large condos and hotels, you know, and the beach just kind of started to, you know, drift away a little bit, if you will. And some of that small charm that you had, um, kind of went away you know it was nice to be able to walk into somewhere you know like uh, Pueblo Village as an example I, I distinctly remember that as a kid it was cool because you know it was 
You could go get the grenadine for your cherry Coke and actually talk to somebody and they knew your name. It was nice. So the old, they call that the old Florida. You're saying so basically the old Florida is pretty much gone. Yeah, I mean everything, you, like, like I said, Trinity wasn't here so we didn't have this. It was just, you know, dirt roads and it was really nothing past Eastlake. Um, you know, Eastlake Road was dirt road when I grew up. You know, the, and that's a pretty main drag. But it's, yeah, there's the, that, you, can, you have to go inland a lot more to get that old Florida charm still. Sure. Outside sure. of a few little pockets here and there, you gotta drive. Andrew, what do you think about the people of Florida? You think they're nice or you think they're like the New Yorkers, the California people? What well, do you think? Well, here's the deal. Uh, this oh. has to be an honest <laughs> video. Most, these, most, these people are watching this or are thinking about moving here or moved here. <laughs> and but here's the thing though. Most of the people now in Florida, they don't come from Florida. Like right. they, they're not like yeah. Bill, who was no. born and grew up here. These are people who came from Jersey, Boston, New York, Long Island, you know, Pennsylvania, and you know, it's they are who they are. Right. You know, it's kind of like even in California. To find a native Californian, you kind of have to go down south. You have to go to Orange County, all that San Diego. Mm -hmm. Then you'll find stuff in Los Angeles. It's all transient, you know, and transient means like it's people from all over the country. Right. And whether they stay for three months or 30 years, but they're not from there. And that's the same problem you have here. Like most of the people like in the, where I live, just on my block, I have, which is kind of funny, my next door neighbor is from one town over from where I grew up, right? And then, and then the guy to the other side of me, he's from like Jersey and then the guy that lives in the corner is from Boston. But you know, it's everyone around me, you talk to anyone, are you from Florida? I'm like, nope. Like nobody, you know what I'm saying? True. I, I mean, I call Florida South New York. Yeah. I did a whole video on that. Me and Bill did a whole video on that. But but the problem with that is, is like, you know, you get people that, you know, they bring their values from wherever they're from. Mm -hmm. um, and, then, and their politics. Yeah, and their politics. And, but the other thing too is then you get certain people that are in Florida that like maybe they've, they're not born here, but maybe they've grown up here since they're a young kid, you know, a teenager, something like that. And then they come and they, they come to your house to fix your sink or something like that. And they're, uh, they're charging you basically New York rates. You know, oh, this guy's from New York. I'm going to charge him New York rates. So you're from California. I'm charging you California rates. And like I had someone literally come to my house to do a water heater. I had three different plumbers come in. Uh -huh. And I had three, I had two outrageous prices and one that was actually, I'll say, reasonable or correct. I just had the, my water heater changed. I got an excellent, excellent price, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> you did get a good deal on that. You get a good deal on that. <laughs> Bill, let's talk about real estate. Okay. okay. Real, Bill's a realtor. Anybody interested, contact Bill. What is going on with real estate in Florida? It's, it's just like the prices are getting to the point that people are leaving the Northeast to f find more affordable housing, but People aren't finding it here in Florida anymore. Prices between insurance, the houses, everything. In a nutshell, you think it's going to become more affordable? What's happening? Well, eventually everything will become more affordable because hopefully we won't have these crazy 50 plus percent increases, you know, in a very short two, three year time of property values. And then it'll give time for wages to catch up and everything will start to stabilize after the crazy unicorn years, which you know we've talked about time and time again, but that's really what's happened. You know, we, we shook the snow globe of the planet up a little bit and then remote work allowed people to, why wouldn't you come to Florida or some of these other areas that we discuss all the time mm -hmm. to, to work when you're a remote worker. Heck, I'd rather be here than you know shoveling snow, but that's just me. And apparently it's a lot of people because that's what's happened. So that's what I foresee happening, stabilization first, that's we that's but that's what we need right now is to everything to kind of stabilize out and we are starting to see this you know the inventory's gone up a little bit interest rates are starting to tick down a touch right now so we'll have to you know see how that pans out so do you see prices coming down drastically i yeah. I, I know condo prices we're going to do a video on it i know condo price some of them are that's 40, a different animal 40 percent, and we'll talk about yeah. that in another video but it all depends. But single family homes, pretty much the prices are pretty much stable right now, or you think there'll be a correction? As long as people continue to move to Florida, and we still have, I, I know everybody says that, you know, our inventory has come up and numbers wise it has, mm -hmm. but we're still, with the number of people that are sitting on the sideline waiting to purchase a home, 
we still do not have enough inventory and we're, we can only build so much so fast. And that's what's going to, it's not going to, we didn't get into this problem in two years, three years, you know, the inventory problem. Um, and we're not going to get out of it in one or two, three years. But yeah. isn't the building that you're talking about, but aren't they building houses that are like New York prices? Some of them are. So what I've started to see a switch on is they've started to change. So they're kind of finishing out where they were, but I've even seen some of the new proposed projects that are coming up in um, like the Pasco County, Hernando County area. Mm -hmm. Once you cross 52, um, you're, they start to switch their gears a little bit. Even down by my house, uh, there was a plot, they were getting ready to do the golf course community and the startings was 1.5 million for the smallest houses up to five and 6 million for these proposed homes. But they put that project on hold for two or three years because we need to build affordable housing right now, That's not million at. dollar houses, $4 million houses. So let's talk about affordability, okay? Because for the people that move in here. So you grew up in New York, but lived in California for the last, what, 20 25, years? 20 plus, 25 20, years. 25 years. Now, do you move into Florida now? Do you feel it's more affordable than California? I know some things are crazy priced. California and Florida, um, they're the same, but they're different. You know? um, California's property is more expensive, but you can sit, you can turn it over quicker. You can sell a house in, in Los Angeles if you bought it on a Monday. You could probably sell it on a Saturday mm. for a profit. In Florida, you buy a house on a Monday. You're stuck with that house for several months. But who in their right mind would would buy prices at those prices? I saw some listings in California. A thousand square feet for you know six seven, <laughs> six seven hundred thousand yeah. in a not so good area. No, well, the, I, I got news to you. There's not really a lot of good areas in. Take Los Angeles. You know, it's like you got the valley, and sections of the valley are nice, and some sections are war zones. Mm -hmm. You know, you, California's kind of weird. You can go from block to block, and it's good block, bad block, good block, bad mm -hmm. block. But the thing is that there's the the draw, the allure of it where most people that are going there are going there for really one reason, and it's the entertainment industry. You know, they want to be a famous actor or an actress, or they're an editor or a writer or a director, and they're going for the work. And when it, when you, if you've made it where you get a show and you're on it, you get paid very well, and you can afford a million dollar house in like no time whatsoever. Hmm. You know, you could literally, you could afford it that you could buy it in cash. Really? Wow. Yeah, because you know, you look at a director, uh, I, I don't hold me to these numbers, but you know, a director's salary for a, a 22 minute sitcom for a week starting is somewhere in the area of like 40 to 50,000 for the week. Wow. You know, and that's a director. Screenwriter is at Guild, I think, is 5,000 a week starting pay, and it goes up. Nobody's really getting that. You know, if you're established, you're getting way above that. A sitcom director is probably making more in the area of 125. To 150,000 a week to do a sitcom. So basically, the entertainment is the draw. Yeah, that's the draw. Everyone wants yeah. to be famous. So, Bill, a lot of people move to Florida and you sell them homes or you're showing them homes. And what's the biggest thing that surprises them when it comes to moving to Florida? What's their biggest complaint? Is it the size of the homes? Is it, is when you're buying a home in Florida, what are things people don't consider? that moved here from the colder climates? Well, the humidity, or out, so outside of the humidity and the heat, right? you know, people, uh, honestly, how close the houses are, mm -hmm. depending on where they're used to living, you know, right. it's a big one. They don't, they didn't, people don't understand the houses. Insurance is like a smack in the face every single time. So they, a they lot just, of your buyers are like, what the hell? Yeah, they don't understand the insurance. And they don't understand taxes? Taxes is not such a big issue. I think taxes across the board, property taxes across the board is confusing, period, for people who, whether they've lived here or not. Um, because if you haven't sold a house, you don't necessarily realize how that process works until you're in it. You know, because it doesn't matter until you're in it. Like I do inspections for a lot of people that moved here. And uh -huh. They're not used to termites. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You know? And the other one is somebody came down here and says, hey, you know, I've been looking for a house with a basement. There is no basement oh. here. Yeah, do we have a few? I think uh, there's a few houses with basements, not many. Yeah, yeah. so that's so, what, so the biggest surprise is, is just pretty much the insurance. Like yeah. you're moving down here for insurance, you. Yeah, insurance and, and lots and stuff. So, you know, most, the last, seems like the last run of people kind of didn't realize 
you know, they all want to move here for the for being close to the coast, you know, is the first one. So then they realize that there's flood zones and that the insurance is through the roof no matter what. So then they kind of move out away from the coast just a touch when they start to look and then things become a little bit more affordable from a month to month standpoint. And uh, it, that seems to be the number one driver. And another thing too that I think a lot of people don't realize is they come here with the mindset that it's gonna be one long vacation. I did that. I moved here to say, cause I used to come here like once every five, six weeks when I had a house in Tarpon and say, okay, it's gonna be, it was good. We came down here, we played for four or five days and we went back mm -hmm. north, back to New Hampshire. But now that we live here, it's it's not the same way anymore. So now it's just just it's the same as living in New York or living in New Hampshire. Yeah, but it, it is still better. I mean, come on, you can go to your in your pool in you know November, December, January, February, right. March, and April. Where in, well, in for New me, York, I can't. It's too cold. But, <laughs> um, no, but, you can heat, but you can heat it. You can heat that thing. In New York, that pool will be frozen. Right. Yeah. You know? that's and then it rains, and it's 17 degrees outside, yeah. and it's snowy. So you know, here's got a lot to offer. You know, just like LA. I remember uh, when it was back. I remember this distinctly. 1999. I was. I came back to California, was gone for a couple of months, and I came back, and I was there for Christmas. And I remember it was Christmas Day, I walked outside, and it was 92 degrees out, and I was going to the beach with my friends on Christmas Day. I mean, they do that here yeah. in Florida, but you don't do that in New York, you know, or Jersey, or Pennsylvania, or right. Boston. You know, you're in your house on Christmas Day, because it's freezing outside, but here, you can have a barbecue, mm -hmm. you can have a Christmas tree outside, you can have a pool party. Right. You know, and it's like, it's it is put this way you can turn florida into whatever you want to turn it into meaning like hey we're gonna have a good time and you know you can have party party every day if you want mm -hmm. uh because there's always a party go it's five o'clock somewhere you know yeah That's like especially like the villages for retirees and stuff you know <laughs> it's yeah. a great place to live yeah. i'm telling you when i'm, I'm it's, I might have to move there. Just there's so many activities and things to do. They make it really fun. And there's a couple. That's it. And that's another theme that they're starting to do with these new development communities is make them more active for everybody. Yeah. Particularly like the, the when you hit the 55 and up. I mean, think of it. If you you know if you had a, a nine to five job of whatever it is, you know, banking, construction, whatever you do, and say you had a boat, you know, you do a lot of fishing. You can come home any day of the week and yeah. be like, I'm going on the boat, you know, and take right. it out on, on the golf and do some fishing or play golf. You know, you can play golf pretty much any day of the week, you know, and, and in, on the Upper East Coast, you get cut off for months. You can't do any right. of that. It makes sense. Yeah. Now, do you see yourself staying the rest of your life in Florida, retiring in Florida, or you, you see yourself going back to California, back to New York? Uh, I, I would love to go back to California, but I won't because it's not the California that I knew. It's What's a, the biggest change in California that you, that Florida doesn't have that you're willing to stay in Florida instead of California. Because well, a lot of people from California are, are watching this too, and they're see, like, "Well, here's the problem with California: like gas went through the ceiling. It's like a dollar, a dollar thirty to a dollar eighty state tax per gallon. Mm -hmm. You know, where it's like that's crazy. Um, you know, prices of you know housing and everything going up. Utilities in California are expensive. So if you're running your air conditioner all year long, you know, you get the bill every two months. It's very easy, like." I get a bill here every two months and I run my air conditioner all and all the electric in the house and my bill every two months is literally $184 and change. Sure. And it's been that way every time. In California, my bill for electricity every two months used to be over $600. Not for nothing, but my bill here, was just got, I just got it in, it's $450, but Tanya keeps it at 68 degrees in this house. So, well, right. I keep mine at 76, but... Yeah, she's just like, she yeah. just likes it. There are, it's, you know, there are, and gas is, I mean, gas is expensive here, mm -hmm. but not meaning expensive like California expensive. It's like three twenty-five a gallon or something like that, you know. Do you, do you see yourself living the rest of your life in over here? Yeah, I don't see why I would go anywhere. I think it would be my main hub and then maybe go somewhere else. So like me, I'll, I'll make Florida my main hub, but I want to go live overseas. I want to go live in Greece or, you know, in Europe someplace. Which I agree with that. You yeah. know, to try something different. A couple of months out of the year, you go right. and, or a couple of weeks, you know. The only thing is you have to, you know, it's, well, <laughs> you have to, you know, you can't predict the future. Because, right. you know, like you don't know, like you say to yourself, like let, you brought up Greece. Greece is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous and inexpensive. But, you know, Greece went through a really bad time in the last couple of years where, you know, high unemployment and yeah. everything. And now it's starting to rebound. And then, you know, in 10 or 15 to 20 years when you really decide to call it quits, 
Greece could be as expensive as, you know, having a place yeah. off of Central Park. Mm. You know, you don't know. So, but Florida, you know, like, we have Greece in Florida. It's called Tarpon Springs. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, last question for both of you guys. Do you guys think that Florida is going into the right direction? Or do you think a lot of people that are going to move here are going to be like, wow, this place is going downhill? But direction, direction as in, what? like, in that, political no, or economic? Everything from economy to pricing to politics. Do you guys feel like, hey, Florida has its stuff together? Put it this way. Now, I can speak probably better to this than Bill because Bill has been here his whole life. So he, he sees, he knows it from day one. Right. I'm looking at it from the, as the fresh outsider. Eyes. Yeah. yeah, so it's a fresh eye kind of look. And different and, perspectives. Yeah, I, and I actually see the things that are wrong with Florida because I can compare it to where two or three other places I came from. But I do think at the, the way Florida is going, I think in the next, say, 20 years, just to be, you know, give it a good time period, I think Florida is going to be one of the, like, the most popular, biggest states in the whole entire country. Like, Florida is going to be where you want to be. No, that's a good prediction. What about you? What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, it's just plain numbers for me. Like I said, I don't have perspective like you do moving yeah. to other places, but just talking with people and living here, you know, we from my perspective, seeing where we were to where we are right now, things are in the right direction. Obviously the entire country is kind of this up and down, you know, turmoil with uh, housing and stuff like that. But as a whole, I think people are still moving to Florida every day. Those numbers really don't change much. You know, we had some peaks, but as long as we still have people moving here, people are gonna wanna be here. Kind of like what we talked about, just look at it's, it's growing, there's room to grow here. Yes. We have room to grow here, you know, we... But we don't want to overgrow it. Right. Because then we get, if we get over it, then it's going to be just like everywhere what else. What do you guys think? You, you, you think Florida's heading in the right direction? Or if you think about moving here, where are you moving from? So, the state, I realized after we finished filming that other video, um, the state that I would think about moving to, other than Florida, was Tennessee. So if everybody says, because I know I said at the beginning of the video, oh yeah, I said, hey, let me tell you what state I would move to, and the state is in that I, I would pick is Tennessee. Why? I just the taxes, the you know the cost of homes, just for retirement. You know, I'm done with the water. I'm not saying I'm going to move what? there. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna move there, but if I had to retire someplace, it would be Tennessee. Yeah, but are you yeah. gonna go to like get a farm or like no? Just because Knoxville, retire. Knoxville is nine thousand degrees, right? Knoxville is hot, hot as hell. Well, you still have the Four Seasons, you but know. Nashville, like, Nashville is nothing but tourism, right? So it's like. All right, now we're getting to this. I just, <laughs> I just want to tell everybody what state I would be thinking about, so they're like. You know what? I've been watching. Why, this why wouldn't you? I've been watching this video well, this whole time Alabama? to find out what Steve's talking about. Why not Sweet Home Alabama then? <laughs> if you're going to talk about property and taxes, Tennessee. That is the state. <laughs> hey, that's today's video, guys. Greatly appreciate it. Do me a favor. Consider subscribing. Hit the thumb and the bell, and watch this video. Now that I have two people here, I don't know where, where it is. Either it's going to be here or there. <laughs> Watch the next video and we'll talk to you in the next one. Thank you and have a great day. Peace out, America. See you on the next one. Thanks.